software engineer based in Los Angeles, California. It's currently 1010 and I have to head into my morning check-in with my team in about 20 minutes. But before that, I just wanted to say hello. Um, this is going to be a fun vlog. I have a pretty standard work day ahead. Wednesdays are my least busiest in terms of meetings. So I love having the free time to just get stuff done. Also later in this video, I'm going to be chatting a little bit about what it's like being a software engineer at a big company. Think Google, Facebook, Apple versus maybe a small startup and kind of spill the tea on what I think is the best. I'll leave timestamps below so you can skip around to different portions of the video. But yeah, so gonna jump into work soon. Oh, before I do that, I actually received a really fun package yesterday. Teddy Blake reached out to me and they offered to send me a handbag. So let me show you which one I picked out. Are you kidding me? She's so cute. She's tiny. Okay, I picked the smallest one because I'm obsessed with small bags and I love small structured bags in particular. And so I picked the six inch one. I don't know what I was expecting, but she's so, so tiny. So I love the baby blue. So this is like a really fun summer or spring color. It has the, yes, the strap to make it a crossbody. That's how I like wearing, especially because this is such a tiny bag. I feel like I'll need to wear it crossbody. I'm obsessed with the baby blue leather. It feels super nice. They're made in Italy. They come out with collections pretty much every month, so you'll definitely find something that you like. I particularly love the Ava bags. This is the six inch, the really tiny Ava bag. They have so many other designs. The best part though is that it's still affordable while giving you that wonderful high-end look. If you do want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. I need to get to work now though, so TTYL. Actually, like 80 degrees out but it's my roommate likes to keep it a little colder in our apartment so I like to stay bundled up when I'm inside also look at these cute little claw clips I found on Amazon um, I've been looking for some transparent ones that are colored these are the only ones I could find I'll link them below they're okay for like short to medium length hair like mine but yeah it's noon so I'm gonna head out for my walk come back to lunch and then get back maybe to work. Maybe this is heaven. Maybe that's just you. I don't trust my judgment because I'm just 22. When my just run in circles, my heart is out in the rain. I know that this is sudden, but do you feel the same? Do you feel the same? 
leftovers from last night this is half of a cava bowl and i cut up some cucumbers on the side because if you know you know speaking of kava when i got this last night i posted on my story and i tagged them in it and they responded to it so basically i peaked in life yeah so i'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna get back to work. We're still scoping out some new projects, so I don't actually have a proper thing to work on at this moment, but I'm gonna reach out to my manager. I've seen some tech debt that I think I can help take care of. Bro, kava is just too good. So this is actually what most of my day looks like. Just me in front of a computer, working, coding, taking meetings. I always like to leave these clips in because it just shows you that this is truly what most of my day is like, not me going on walks or doing fun things, I guess. But while these clips are rolling, I figured I'd talk about what it's like working at different sized companies. I know that when I was in college, the biggest question was, do I join a startup or do I work at Google or Amazon or one of the huge companies? So I figured I'd dive into that. There's actually pros and cons to all of them. I've worked at Google, Snapchat, and even at a smaller 300 person company. A lot of the takeaways here are from my own personal experience, so make sure you take it with a grain of salt. First, let's talk about company management and processes. In a huge established company, there's a lot of order. There's like a process for everything. In order to get a project pushed through, many teams have to sign off on the project. Legal team needs to review it. Product leadership needs to pitch the idea to the vice president. And then after it's been built, QA needs to write tests on top of your code before they approve for release, so there's lots of layers. This added friction means that generally the process from ideation to delivery is pretty slow. It also means that oftentimes as a junior developer, you don't get to participate in the discussion or in the decision making. Tasks are generally just assigned to you. On the other hand, at a startup or smaller company that are less established, less process exists, and the time from ideation to delivery is often super fast because things need to get out. It's a very build, build, build mindset. Things are definitely a little bit more chaotic, but there's always work to be done and you generally don't need to wait around for things. When it comes to your day-to-day, -day, at a big company, you're on a very specific team. Like for example, at Google, I was on a team that worked on Google Docs developer APIs. So that entire team at Google manages APIs that a developer like you or me can hit to add like a square or a text box to a Google slide programmatically. So that's the whole responsibility of that team. Your team and the impact you have can be very limited because you're stuck working on APIs. That's like your whole purpose there, right? But you do get to learn how a big organization functions. There's a lot of smart people to learn from and you do get the opportunity to work on a mature code base. So figuring out patterns you like, learning how to navigate a huge code base, those are all really great things to know how to do. On the other hand, at a smaller company or at a startup, there's usually a shortage of people and an excess of tasks. You usually need to wear many hats, you learn how to work in different roles, sometimes learn how to even manage yourself and work on different layers of the product. Since there's fewer people and more things to do, there's a lot of opportunity for growth. As a startup or the company grows, you'll end up in a senior position quicker or at least have the opportunity to step up to that plate if you want to. And you definitely get to work with cutting edge technologies and get to participate in the important architecture and design decisions because there's fewer people to pick brains of and you definitely have a higher chance of your voice being heard in that smaller crowd. When it comes to money, salaries at big companies are generally higher. They normally set the industry standards. They have the best perks. I think I've talked a little bit about how amazing Google's offices are. And those benefits and the awesome offices are generally something you don't find in startups. However, if you join a startup early on and the startup has a successful exit, which is definitely a possibility, but not all startups make it to that successful exit. Um, but if you do, you could find that the investment was worth way more than a few years of a cushy salary. That's generally how these quote unquote overnight millionaires are made in Silicon Valley. They're not overnight because they put in many years of work, but it always looks like it's overnight. 
There's definitely more things to dive into and I probably don't have the time to harp on all of them in this video. My favorite work environment that I've worked in so far has been a small company of around 300 people and it had less than 100 engineers. I thought the size was great because you still have a lot of opportunity for growth. There's lots of things to do and there's lots of things to be delivered so no one's working on busy work. There's also a strong sense of unity because you work with a smaller group of people. At that size company the team was also mature enough to where there were some processes in place but not to the point where it slows down development and that's really key for me. Also, I've never actually worked at a pure startup, like a very early stage startup, so I don't have that experience. Maybe I'd like it. But if there's any advice that you can take from me, I'd say that you should work at different companies while you're in school or while you can. I think it's important to try a startup or try a big company, try a mid-sized company for yourself so you can firsthand make the decision for your own preferences and for how you like to work. Definitely leave any comments below. Let me know if you want to see a more detailed video about this. So, you know, I was talking about tech debt earlier. So I just sent a few suggestions over to my manager. He was like, yeah, you work on whatever you want to work on while we figure out the priorities for the next big project that the team is going to handle. So I just took one on, made a PR for it. I'm gonna go, I have a watermelon that I haven't cut open yet. So I'm gonna go do that and have some watermelon as a little bit of a snack. We don't know this is temporary. Maybe we'll last to January. I lost control when you call me, baby. Go down the road, you know you come. I'm eating on my bed, which is um, a little bit risky because I love this comforter. It's a nice comforter. It's not a cheap comforter. So I've already spilled a few things on it and I've had to like immediately wash it. And the last time I did that was actually two days ago on Monday. So can't be happening yet. It was a very Monday Monday. But that just goes to show I spilled a little bit of coffee on this thing. I had to wash it immediately. Anyway, <laughs> tangent. Comment below if you like your fruit room temperature. I like my berries room temperature. I like even like my tomatoes, which a fruit, vegetable, whatever. For salads, I like those room temperature. And I think it might be because I have sensitive teeth. I should probably look into Sensenite. I think I'm actually gonna go work at the lounge room. The reason I've been inspired to like go different amenities we have at our apartment building is because I'm actually going to be moving out of here pretty soon. Our lease ends like August 9th, so I have to move out sometime before then. I don't have an apartment yet. I applied to one, I'm just waiting to hear back. It's my first time applying to an apartment on my own, which is kind of insane. Um, but yeah, I found like a one bedroom apartment that I really like and I applied on Sunday. So I'm waiting to hear back from them. It's a little nerve wracking, but hopefully that goes well. But anyway, KLDR is that I'm going to be moving out of this place. I'm just going to finish eating this, probably take like a little bit of a breather and then go to the community room work from there. So it's 18 now. I actually stopped working 
about 30 minutes ago so i was doing some stuff on my personal laptop just now now it's basically dinner time today i'm gonna be making some yummy pad ceo be my first time making it but i've been kind of working my way through different cuisines and um i think it's time to explore some thai food so this will be my first time and i'm excited and then probably gonna head up to my roof again taking full advantage of the amenities saw you walking in the street one day it was a sunday you had flowers in your hand you were dancing with your headphones on thank everyone was watching you were moving in the beat cause we been in the street just to get a glimpse of watching it's gonna be it for this video sorry the sunset was a little disappointing today but yeah hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye